Hello, it's Sarah, and this is my mailbox, and I'm not sure that this is going to be easy um, to film, but I just wanted to go through the process. We've, we've already taken it outside and sanded it, just, you know, to get the shine off of it, so you can kind of tell, well, maybe not, but I, I have some gesso here, and I'm going to just squirt it. Oops, this one's running out, so I'm just going to squirt it on here and kind of get a feel for if it's, oops, getting it on me. I should have put my um, apron on. Anyway, I want to see if it's going to stick or not. Uh, I haven't sprayed it with anything. I mean, it's basically just the way it was at the store except for being sanded. So let's see what this feels like, if it feels like it's going to adhere. And I'm going to do some, I'm going to do a mixed media background on here and I want to see what it looks like and if it's just really super cool. Now, I think I'm going to, because I want to do it with um, ground, like grass and sky in mind, so it probably wouldn't be just a abstract looking. Um, all right, so that was a lot of gesso to just put on one side of here, but I'm getting it all smoothed out. All right, and I'll be back in a minute and tell you what I think. <clears throat> okay, I am finished with the gesso, and it's dry, and it feels pretty good. I'm going to go for it. I am going to paint this... Um, mailbox with an enchanted forest design and I'm going to do it with a mixed media background. So the first thing I want to do actually is apply some black paint. Um, I love the way it looks when it shines through. So I have this Galleria black. It's actually called ivory black so I don't think it's a true true black. But um, I, it's a heavy body paint. So I'm going to just put, you know what, let me, I'm going to apply this with credit cards and brushes, all types of different stuff, I think, um, to get it to be just whatever it wants to be. So I have this big brush. I'll start with that. And just, I'm not really going for a solid coverage at all. This doesn't really matter in the end game, although it will show up. So I'm just, I just want to see what kind of, see then you could just take like, do I have a credit? Yeah, like a, a gift card. Let me just put some on here and kind of, that actually covers really nice. Like it, it spreads really easy. So that's what I'm going for. So I'm going to go away. I'm going to get all this done. And I want some white to be peeking through. But when I'm done both sides, I'll be back and I'll show you the next step. All right? I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is so far. I think I got a little carried away with the black. Because you do want white parts to show through. So when I went really dark with this, I just came back and wiped it, um, wiped it off. But it, this is the whole thing. Oh, and then I did the spray technique when you spray it with a water bottle. And then let it sit for a second, and then you wipe away. So you see all the speckles. So that's what that's looking like. And I'm liking the feel of it. I think we're going to be okay when it comes to painting. Uh, you know, I could, I could probably scratch it off right now if I tried. Yeah, you can. Um, and that's the thing. I think, I'm pretty sure I did my other one the same way. I have a mailbox outside right now. Um, and so, I'm not really worried about it. It's lasted us 20 years. Um, so this side is a little more solid down here too, 
but see all the speckle marks that's from hitting it with water just when it's still wet the paint you just spray it and then you wipe it away so the next thing I'm going to do is start adding color and because I'm going to do it <clears throat> in a landscape it's going to be greens on the bottom here and blues in the sky but I'm going to have trees so they're going to bring green up to the sky and I'm going to have clouds it's this design that I did on my um, uh, composition book so similar to this and then I did a big uh, canvas too that I have up on the wall and so I'm just going to start uh, putting some color down on here um, I just wonder if I want to do it on camera because it's going to be so hard I mean you can see what I'm doing um, I think I'm going to come back and show you what I've done without filming it. I just wanted to show you guys how I'm going to go about painting this mailbox. But I may not be able to film it step by step by step. I'm just going to tell you the steps and then share them kind of as they come to pass, you know, as I get them done. Um, all right. So I'll be back and I'll share the next step and if there's any trouble or anything. All right. I'll be back. All right. I'm back. I just decided I wanted to share that I'm applying the paint with a paintbrush, this biggish one. And because there's a top to this, it's not like a canvas where it just stops, I'm going to put some dark, dark blue. This is just a Galleria pink that I've had, Aqua Ultramarine it's called. It's a very dark blue blue. And I'm just going to start putting it up here. And this is such a big, oh my gosh, I'm going to need a lot of paint, you guys. Um, but I also have white on my palette, some light blue, and um, a little pink. So let me go into the white now and start putting some of that on. So I'll get I'll get a bit of see you can see that. All right, good. And here's the light blue. So I'm just going to start putting that on. And the whole idea with a mixed media background is none of this is the final product if you know what I mean um, we see look oh my gosh see I don't know if like because there's light blue paint on my brush it's just gonna oh man sorry I get very excited um, with color color just excites me do you know when we first got this house we had a mauve carpet I don't know if let's see that was probably around 19 uh, I want to say 89 I think it was 89 and I'm gonna grab a little pink now oh boy this is so awesome anyway my husband is such a sweet guy and really doesn't care about design like decorating that much you know he kind of let me run with it and um, yeah so we had pink carpeting pretty much for a long time and it's all because I love color but it doesn't necessarily mean it's a good thing to have that so um, when decorating your house maybe not so much so now we tend to have an accent color and um, so see I'm kind of going to the side I love that pink and uh, because it's just going to shine through because I'm going to put the clouds there let's put a little of this see I'm running out of the dark blue um, so now I get my thrills from uh, painting. <laughs> but look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, look. Just by slip slapping, I basically call this, I'm going to turn this on its side because I didn't put any on the other side yet. But basically just by slip slapping the color, meaning like just, just picking paint up and putting it down with no real primer reason. And that's what's the best part about it. I'm not thinking about this too much. I just have some colors out that I love and I am putting them down. And I just love adding that dark blue in here and there. Oh my gosh. Look how gorgeous. 
I don't know, maybe you guys don't get as excited as I do about color. But, and I'm going to add white into it. Um, but to me, like, this is, this is so fun. Like, I can't even take how fun this is. Let's see. I'm going to do some darker blue up here. Sorry, I know I'm out of the shot. And I'll probably take pictures of, um, still shots and stuff. I'll post them on my Facebook page. Progress, progress shots, you know. Um. I definitely want this light blue in there, so I don't want it to be... Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cool, you guys. I am... I am... And I have no idea what I'm doing. I mean, I do. I have an idea. <laughs> but see, the black is showing through, too. Do you see that, how the black is showing through? And that is the point. Like, I learned that from Jody Ole. I've taken a couple classes of hers, um, and this is one of the ways she preps her canvas by base coating it black. So I am a loving, loving, loving what is going on here. Um, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna pull some greens. You know what? Let me get while I have you, because I'll do the other side, but I'm gonna get some of my favorite greens out, and I'll probably use the dirty brush. This is called light foliage, and I'll do some yellow. Um, this yellow, and probably some pink and white again. Um, but the blue, when I add the blue to it, oh wow, I forgot that part. But when you add the blue to it, it turns teal. So let's let's just start playing. If I put the blue, I mean the green, just start and see. I don't care if it if it's taking, um, if it skips, I don't care. I want, I basically want it to do that. Here's a little yellow. Oh my gosh. I'm going to add a little bit of this light blue and watch what happens. The green kind of turns teal. Do you see that? And I'm going to paint hills, too, so it'll be, uh, I'll, have, I'll have to figure out my landscape lines in a minute, but do you see how that looks teal now? So I'll put a little yellow down here. I didn't put any pink yet, or white, but I'm actually kind of really liking this. I'm going to put blue up here, this light blue, and it'll kind of go from Sky, grass and sky will blend together in this way and then it, it'll be okay. I can define it when I um, shade everything at the end. Wow, I'm really liking it. Should I add a little pink? Just a little pink and we'll see what happens. That's a lot of pink. When did I ever add a little bit of anything? You guys, I wish you could see this because it's, I know it's so, um, it's because my camera won't go up any higher. This is friggin' really pretty. Like, I am really happy with this. I don't want to put the green too much in the sky, but the yellow would be okay. But it actually it kind of turns teal, so that's okay. I think I'm going to stop. And you get the idea, and I'm going to continue on doing this to my background, and I'll be back. All right, it's all dry, and I decided I'm not going to film the rest. I'll come back and show you when it's done, but I have a little sketch on here. It's not the best I've ever done, um, but I think it's going to be cute. So I'm going to come back and show you the finished piece, and I hope you guys, maybe one day, Give it a try and paint yourself a mailbox. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, this side is pretty much done. Although I am not really happy with like it's just really treeish over here. Like I don't know. Um, I love my snail. I think that's adorable, and I have a few touch-ups to do. Like 
I'm gonna, you know, I got some black lines on some things and some smudges that I have to just paint over. I sprayed it with uh, the workable fixative, and then when I'm done, both sides, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna varnish it with a good exterior varnish that I'll just buy at the craft store. But I think I want to add some grasses or something else. Um, flowers more something in the background but I mean I'm pretty happy with it I like um, like I said I like my snail so for the other side the other side has the um, flag so I have to um, decide what I'm gonna put <clears throat> with the flag the flag goes over here so that would be going like here, here's the flag. Um, anyway, I don't really need, I'm not going to put anything very detailed on that section because the flag will be down most of the time. So it's kind of pointless, it'll just cover it up. Although, and look, it's a pretty big flag, so let's see. <clears throat> I guess it goes like this right or would it go like this like that I don't know I think like that and then you lift it up either way that's gonna be there so I don't know I kinda have a tree right there but I could put something down here like maybe some little characters and then I think I'm gonna put a nice big focal piece here like I was thinking of actually doing a big tree stump a tree there's a stamp and I don't know if it's by Stampendous but I'm gonna look for it and I'm gonna I'm gonna draw the image basically of that stamp over here and just make that the big focal point and I'll put like flowers down here or something but that's basically it I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna add the final shot outdoors I'm gonna go outdoors once it's all up and everything and I'm gonna um, I'll film that I'll film it on the actual post all right so go get yourselves a mailbox and paint it up all right I'll be back all right well here it is now this is the first side I did and you know what it's not a very bright day right now and I'm holding the camera but I really wish like here see this is what it looks like I have I'll put a Amanda Villa under there in the summer but this is the side you haven't seen yet. This one has a foggy. Let me see if I can shoot it there. Look at my fog. I love my foggy. And you know what I didn't put though? I didn't put any butterflies or dragonflies or ladybugs. So I could have added so much more. See, look, you can put the... So that's one side. And then... This is the front. I didn't do anything to the front or back. But it's got a magnet. And it's very strong. And then this is this side. You can kind of see it better. I love my snail. He turned out so cute too. So I'm happy. But yeah, I really wish I would have added butterfly, dragonfly, and ladybug. Or hit them somewhere. I wanted to put a ladybug on top of the... Um, mushrooms all right you guys so that's it it's my mailbox so see what it looks like oh now you know my address all right you guys thanks for watching